Okay gang, Sparky Sparky, you online.com. Time to clean out my truck. So I pulled everything out. I'm gonna go through and get all this stuff organized. I just wanted to show you um, the amount of stuff that we've got to deal with on a daily basis. I mean, depending on what industry you're in, part of the industry you're in, whether it's uh, just roping houses or doing commercial buildings, in my case, I was doing service work and some a lot of remodels. So I've just got a ton of stuff left over. Ballast, light bulbs, more light bulbs, ballast in these boxes back here. What we got in here? Switches, all kinds of switches, plates. Look at that, a whole box of uh, Bellevue washers and off of service, light fixtures, no LBs, nuts, bolts, screws, you name it, uh, bell boxes, sport plates, Just all kinds of stuff here. Got a couple uh, 30 amp range cord outlets there, 20 amp down there, box full of miscellaneous pieces and parts and then I've got this thing here kind of set up with all my residential breakers back in here is a lot of PVC stuff a little bit of pulling lube there all kinds of stuff plates boxes this is just stuff I've collected over the years. Not necessarily just out of my truck right now, but I need to work. Use this stuff more efficiently. We got some more stuff in here. Phone jacks. Uh, compression fittings. Industrial covers. Light bulbs. Let's see what we got down here on the bottom. more plates Lutron dimmers three-way single pole more plates clock receptacle down in there I've got uh, somewhere I just saw them. get some uh, fuse reducers in there KO seals right there's a 411 single gang plate blank plates and a 50 amp range outlet <clears throat> in my buckets of stuff some true tape there for measuring your wire lengths first aid kit Get some disconnects more breakers wire nuts all kinds of junk now I've got more but uh, this is some stuff that I got to get cleaned up. I got some some other fuses back in there. And there's a uh, lug kit that I pulled out of an old car wash when we replaced new stuff. So just kind of wanted to show you all the stuff. I mean, in order to be a good service tech. This, this is even a small amount of stuff, but to be a good service tech, I mean, you need to know what all this stuff is. Colors, pieces, parts, weatherproof, non-weatherproof, um, heavy-duty, standard, you know. So, anyway, more to come. Thanks for watching.